Hello. Welcome to our Wednesday devotional time. Thank you for taking the time with me. It was a joy recently to have my brother Mark and his wife Leda with us uh, for about a week. They were here uh, on a Sunday and they were here for graduation when Mark preached and they have uh, been a blessing to us. But I discovered something in a conversation with them. Uh, they had never eaten a blizzard from Dairy Queen. You know what a blizzard is? If you don't know what a blizzard is, you need to go to Dairy Queen today and get one so you can say you know what a blizzard is. Well, they hadn't, so uh, I thought, we'll go over and I'll treat them to a blizzard. So my wife and I and Mark and Lady all got in the car and went over to the Dairy Queen so we could get a blizzard. Now, we'd already eaten, so we weren't really hungry, but you know, there's always room for ice cream. It kind of melts in between the cracks and there's always room. So we got them each a blizzard. Leda was back there in the back seat, sitting with Debbie and eating her blizzard. We all finished ours and she's still eating hers. And we're saying, come on, Leda, come on. And finally we began to cheer her on. Come on, Leda, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, come on, come on, you can do it. And we were trying to help her, uh, teasing her that way, cheering her on. Sometimes people need to be cheered on. Sometimes people need a cheerleader. The valedictorian for our senior high was Gracie Lawson. Grace is a great young lady. We've loved her and she's been in our school since she was in four-year-old kindergarten. She's been a great student and, and she was apprehensive about doing the valedictory speech. So Mrs. Johnson said she kept telling her what to do and helping her with this and helping her with that, cheering her on. And then when she did it on the night of graduation, it was well done. We were pleased with her. But sometimes people need to be cheered on. Just this past week, we had the kindergarten graduation. And Mrs. Natal is a wonderful kindergarten teacher. She has done a great job, I think 15 years in our school, maybe 16. She's been a wonderful job and she has been a blessing. But she doesn't like the end of the year program. That causes her a lot of stress. So we get behind her and say, come on, Mrs. Natal, you can do it, you can do it. And the program turns out very well. I thought about that recently as I was reading in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 23. The Apostle Paul was uh, being taken because he had um, said the wrong things. And uh, he's on a boat and uh, he they're, they're having a storm. Uh, a storm was coming and the Lord cheered him up. In fact, here's what he said. He said, there won't be anybody's life lost in this storm. God's going to preserve us all. And he said it because of this in Acts 23, verse 11. The night following, the Lord stood by him and said, Be of good cheer, Paul, for as thou hast testified of me in Jerusalem, so must thou also bear witness for me at Rome. So the Lord said, you're going to get to Rome. Later on, he would say there will be no loss of any of the people on board. So uh, he was cheering him on. The Lord was saying to him, be of good cheer. I want to give you these two or three thoughts today just as a reminder. First thing is this. We serve the same Lord that Paul did. Now it's 2,000 years later, but he's the same. Society has changed. Our world has changed. We are different than the Apostle Paul, but God hasn't changed. We serve the same God. I believe there are times when he wants to stand up beside us and say, be of good cheer. Cheer up. He's cheering us on in the race of life. Second thing is this, we have his word. I encourage you, uh, in sun, on Sunday morning, our the Bible lesson in the adult Bible class was uh, Hebrews 4.12, which says the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. We talked about the living word of God. We have the Bible to cheer us up. We have the Bible to encourage us. The Bible says in Hebrews 13, Jesus said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Philippians chapter 4, the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Romans chapter 8, we read, if God be for us, who can be against us? What a blessing it is to know that he's there standing with us, cheering us on. I believe just as he told Paul, be of good cheer. He's telling us, be of good cheer. Here's the deal. Today, you'll probably face some kind of a storm or at least a skirmish in your life. I would encourage you today, 
when that comes, to think of this. We have the same God Paul did. He has not changed. We need to trust him in the storms of life. We need to stand firm because I believe he's standing with us and he's saying through his word, be of good cheer. Cheer up. I'm with you. I've got your back. I'm, I'm for you. I'm with you. I'll help you. Today, he'll do just that if you'll let him. God bless you. Be of good cheer.